In a prior video, we set up and solved linear equations with Python. And we're going to continue this, but now we're going to solve uh, nonlinear uh, equations. Um, and our next example. Okay, so we all know how to set up and solve, uh, you know, equations such as uh, this. This is nonlinear. Uh, we can rearrange and have plus or minus square root of three. Let's say we have additional variables and equations. We may want to solve those numerically. So we're going to set that up and solve it in Python. So let's just go with a simple example. Um, and we'll have x squared plus y squared uh, equals 20. And then another one, which is y equals x squared. OK, so graphically, this is a circle with radius of square root of 20, or about uh, 4.5. Okay, and then this equation here is going to be just the quadratic expression. Okay, so our two equations, um, and they're going to intersect at these two points. So let's just add, um, you know, we could add, uh, you know, inequality constraints that x is greater than zero and y is greater than zero. Or if we're doing a numeric solution, we could just start with a guess value in this range and it will likely find uh, this solution. Okay, so we want to set this up and solve it with um, just these equations in Python. So let's go ahead and just open up a an IPython notebook or if you want to do this as a script uh, as well, you can do that. So I'll just go ahead and start up this um, IPython notebook, go to my notebook area and create a new uh, Python notebook. Okay, I'll make this just a little bit smaller so we can see it. Rearrange a few windows here. Okay, so there's um, there are my nonlinear equations, and we'll go ahead and just set up in Python um, to uh, to solve this. Okay, so the first thing that we'll need to do is um, from you'll need to have SciPy and NumPy installed. So I'm going to do from NumPy. Uh, import um, all and then also from uh, SciPy um, optimize okay so I'm going to use the optimize package we'll also go ahead and import uh, that package as well okay so the next thing we want to do is just define a new function okay so I'm going to call this my function and I'm going to have input be x and then don't forget the uh, colon at the end of this. So what I'm going to do now is um, go ahead and um, actually, you know what, I'm going to call this z here just so I don't confuse the x and y variables. Okay, so I'll have um, x is going to be equal to uh, z0. That's going to be the first element. Um, and then um, let's see, y is going to be equal to z one, that's going to be the second element. And the thing that I need to return from this function are my function values. Okay, so I'll do my function, my first element is going to be, um, it's going to be power of x uh, comma two. Um, and then I'm going to have plus power of y comma two, and then minus 20. Okay, and then my second one is going to be equal to uh, y minus power uh, y or x comma two. Okay, so I need to use the, the power function in order to be able to square them. Um, and I put all of my expression on one side of the equation so that equals zero. So the solver is going to try to find where f zero and f one equals zero. And then the final thing I need to do is just return the value of f. So my function is going to have input z, and it's going to return the value of f. Okay, so um, now what I need to do is just go ahead and create uh, some guess values for z. So I'm just going to create um, an array, and I'll do guess values of 1 and 1 for x and y. Okay, and then I can call the um, the f solve. 
Um, now that comes from the scipy uh, dot optimize. And so I'm going to call fsolve and then put in my function name, my function, and then my guess value separated by comma. Okay, so I have an error here. Um, let's see what it says. The name F is not defined. Okay, so let's see if I can what I did wrong with this. Oh, you know what? I see what the problem is. I need to first of all, before I start using these, I need to uh, first of all declare it um, as zeros. Okay, just initialize it. I can either do empty or zeros and I'll have a dimension of two there. Okay, so let me go ahead and just run this. Um, and actually, I'll just go ahead and run uh, this whole script again. Um, okay, I'll just restart it. these okay okay here's the run all commands I'll use that instead just to run um, all of them just to refresh all of the values okay and then what I want to do is just print uh, the value of Z and there I have my solution so the next thing I want you to try um, with this is to um, just add another equation to this. Okay, so go ahead and edit um, the script, but let's add just one more variable, and I'm gonna call this one um, w. So w plus five equals x times y. Okay, so go ahead and just implement that in Python. Uh, go ahead and pause the video if you like, or just continue on if you'd like to see the solution. Okay, so we'll add um, the w uh, variable, and uh, if I come up in my Python script, I'll just add w, I'll just add that as a third element, and then add, uh, make this instead of empty uh, two, I'll do empty three, and then have a f function, it's gonna be f two, um, and that's gonna be um, w plus five minus x times y. Okay, then I'll return f and I can go ahead and just click cell and then run all. And okay, so I needed to uh, increase this guess um, array as well. And let me try that one more time. I'll go ahead and run all of them again and then it will come up with my solution for z, which is equal to, or for w, um, which is equal to three. Okay, so that concludes uh, this tutorial on using uh, Python um, and fsolve in the uh, scipy package uh, to solve a set of nonlinear equations.